The event, unlike any other, is happening tonight in our area. Local filmmaker used hundreds of hours of home videos to expose a painful past of abuse that he endured as a young boy. And it all happened in a quiet Philadelphia suburb. NBC 10's Katie Zachary has the story. You know how you have a nightmare and you wish you could go back? I know vaguely how I got to this place, but there are pieces that are missing. For filmmaker Sasha Newlinger to truly confront his painful past of abuse, he watched 200 hours of home videos from his childhood. Can you tell us who we have here? Who is that? Some showing him with the very same relatives convicted of sexually assaulting him. Ah! And he turned it into a documentary that's been seen around the world. For each question that I was able to answer through rewatching my childhood, I had 10 new questions. Question for the detective, the prosecutor, the psychiatrist, my mom, my dad. My child. You see those questions answered in the documentary film Rewind. You also see Newlinger as a young boy growing up in Rosemont. You see him start out smart, confident, and sweet, and evolve into someone angrier, sadder, darker, as the abuse takes place. Having these conversations, while sometimes they can be hard, if it's packaged the right way, the way Rewind packages it, we leave feeling like, okay, this is terrible, but there's something we can do. In fact, there's a lot we can be doing. Rewind has been seen millions of times around the world. At film festivals, it's received high acclaim. Monday, it will be shown for the first time where Newlinger grew up at the same Bryn Mawr Theater where, as a young boy, he watched his very first film. What touches me more is when I'm at these screenings and I see everyday human beings sitting here who maybe didn't know about child abuse, were able to understand the topic and leave feeling motivated and leave feeling like there's something we can do. In Montgomery County, Katie Zachary, NBC 10 News. That must be so powerful. Rewind will be shown tonight at 7 p.m. at the Bryn Mawr Film Institute on Lancaster Avenue. After, there'll be a panel discussion with the director, the lead detective on that case, and a child advocate.